Welcome back again, rum folks. We are here with another delicious rum. I want to give you some tasty notes, and this is by Angus Tura. This is the Angus Tura 1824. So, Angus Tura is known around the world for their bitters. Everybody you go in Miami, in Europe, England, you go to Australia, you could see an Angus Tura bitters on a bar shelf. Angus Tura House, the year 1824, War Drums Herald, a fight for liberty, and Dr. J. G. B. Sergei created Angus Tura aromatic bitters to ail the wounded soldiers and they said it was like a magic elixir. 200 years later, here's where we are. So 1824 was the founding of the Angostura brand and it founded with the Angostura bitters. So this drum here is the drink that signifies what this rum company is all about, even though they were founded on the Angostura bitter that is known around the world. Another thing about Angostura bitters is that many famous writers, many famous people who have visited Trinidad in the golden years, they wrote about Angostura bitters, they wrote letters to their wives, they want Angostura bitters when they get home, all these kinds of things. And that is what makes the Angostura bitters like world renowned. However, we're not here about Angostura bitters. What we are here about is the 1824 bottle, right? So this is the presentation that they last brought out. Um, they have it in this canister, a nice canister, a nice solid feel. I love the color. Um, and this is what they present to us. So, ah, uh, be hard to open. Whew. It's almost done. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been my sipper for quite some time. Um, I did also have the 15 year, that'll be another episode. However, the 1824 has been delicious. It has been uh, one of my favorites. Um, I'll kind of do a comparison video one of these days, comparing the entire line, letting you know which one is my favorite. 1824, 12 year rum. Um, they have their own tasting notes on here. We'll get to those in a second, but first, let me give you my unbiased opinion of what it tastes like, right? So, let's get it with the pour. So, pretty deep color. Um, not as deep as you would say the El Dorado. Um, you see the legs are developing right here. And that tells you that it's a good age rum, right? So any of the fake color stuff, the, the other additives and whatever, what really tells you if you get a good age rum is when these legs start developing. So you got a good leg development here. Took a while to develop too, which really, or speaks, sorry, to the fact that it's a well-aged rum. Look at these legs. They are just starting to move on this side. So some good stuff. This is a minimum of 12 years. Um, so anytime you talk about the, the English blenders or even the French blenders, um, their rums are minimum age statements, right? So minimum age statement of 12 years. And let's get to the nose. Hmm. Get out. Mm-hmm. That sweetness. Type of floral scent. Hmm. Woody. Honestly, it slightly reminds me of a rum agricole in something. And they get a kind of toffee flavor as well. Hmm. This makes me happy. This is good. This is good. Hmm. Okay. I see again legs. Legs all day. True 12 year minimum eight statement. Let's start the tasting. Hmm. 
Mm. Kind of molasses, fla a molasses flavor. Um, sweet molasses, kind of fruity. Definitely get some some wood. Maybe a bit of smoke. Mm. Definitely, I got some a variety of sweet flavors in there. Um, slightly woody. I don't know if you call that smoky flavor. Oh, but. Pretty good pretty good it did not disappoint it didn't disappoint at all so i would like to give you my tasting notes first and then i'll go to what the professionals say that it tastes like right so i give you what i taste and then i give you what you know the rum connoisseurs um that may say so they said flora which i said he said sweet honey cake, coconut, marshmallow, toasted, which maybe that's what I said when I said woody. And then they said spicy. Um, definitely got floral, definitely got the sweet um, cake, honey, coconut. I don't know, maybe that's all blended into sweet. Marshmallow, I'm not really sure what that means, but um, also spicy. Um, let's see, let's try for the spice. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how I missed it the first time, but it's definitely spicy. You get it on the end, it lingers a bit longer. Um, but a very delicious rum. So, this is the Angostura 12 year 1824 from Trinidad, the birthplace of Angostura bitters. And this is the 12 year called the 1824, which is the year in which it started. On the back, they said, Our blending expertise is captured. In the blending of golden rum age for a minimum of 12 years on the island's paradise of Trinidad and Tobago. With a bouquet of cocoa, toffee, tropical fruits, sip and savor the taste of 1824. Cocoa, toffee, and tropical fruits. Hmm. Got sweet, I got some fruits, um, cocoa and toffee. I don't know, I don't got my, my, my palate that refined as yet, I assume. Very clean. Hmm. I like it. Honestly, so the flavors in Angostura rums, I find they aren't as pungent. They aren't as hit you in your face. Not pungent, but, but like really bold. Uh, but they all have a uh, slight. I don't know. I always feel like there is a, a, a distinct taste of Angostura rums. It's a slight taste that you get. I feel like I didn't even recognize it on the first couple sips, but on that last sip, I was like, yeah, this is an Angostura rum. Different manufacturers do different things that, you know, just bring you a certain flavor. You know, Angostura does column stills, which reduce a lot of that, of that funk and that different oddities that you get in some rums honestly a lot of the, the old school stills the pots the stills the coffer stills they give you to me they give you a lot more funk a lot more character uh angostura isn't that type of of, of rum production they use the 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 column still however it still has a uniqueness about it it's subtle and if you're a rum sipper, not a rum chugger, you'll pick up on it. There is a specific taste there in Angostura rums that you pick up when you're sipping. That taste that I just got there reminded me when I was sipping the 15 year old rum. Now I sipped out an entire bottle of that one. This one, it wasn't, I don't know, the 15 to me is, is, is better than the, than the 12. And it just has, 
it's a bit more smooth to it. Maybe that's why I like it. But I finished that bottle, so I'm gonna have to crack another one open to give you a wrong review. But this, but there's a note in there that is similar. The blending in the 12 has that same as the blending in the 15. Um, the blending in the 1919. So, sorry, the 15 is called, what is that called? It's called 1787. So when I say 15, it's, it's called, it's the, the actual bottle that you'll be looking for, Angostura 1787. But this is the Angostura 1824, 12, 18, 1824, year, and then there's the Angostura 1919, which is the eight year old rum minimum. So that's your premium line. So the premium lines are named after certain years that important things took place, right? So the 1824, delicious, very much an Angostura product, um, has a fruitiness, has a, a unique Angostura flavor that is very subtle, not, you know, honestly, like the El Dorado is strong. Like, you know, there's other rums out there that has a strong, like, whoa, what is that? Maybe good, maybe bad. But the Angostura rum is delicious, it is unique, and it's enjoyable. And this is definitely a good sipping rum. Sadly, this rum is priced pretty high in America. This is about 75 bucks, most places, probably 70. Um, it's a good rum, but honestly, travel to Trinidad. Travel to Trinidad and get you a really good price because this price in the US, I find it's a bit tough. Um, you know, you can get other 12 year olds from other companies for a lot less. You can get, you know, a good one, a good 12 year old for 40 bucks. And here, for whatever reason, at least in Florida, it's $75 for this bottle. So, I don't know, man. Great tasting rum. Price a little higher in the US. I hope that it's priced better elsewhere because El Dorado, I'm getting in Florida right now, 12 year for 40 bucks, maybe 45. So, the price just isn't what it should be. Uh, but, great tasting rum. Travel to Trinidad, you get that a lot cheaper. Yo, travel to Trinidad period, even if not for the rum. That's enough for this rum review. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Until next time.